So my next tip is really to do kind of with thinking about nourishing your soul during the workday. So one of my favorite things about going to work is all of the fun interpersonal interactions that you have with your coworkers, like, you know, with your work bestie, with your work acquaintance, with, you know, the fun janitor, like whoever is just having those nice interactions that we lose during the day when we're at home. Because even though you're interacting with your clients, you don't get those nice, um, you know, friendly interactions with your coworkers. And so what I've started doing that's been really helpful is I have a day of the week with some of my girlfriends at work and we have a calendar date where we just meet for 15 minutes. If we have the time, sometimes 30 minutes if we're feeling crazy. Um, and we'll just meet on our platform. So at our company, we use Teams, but you know, maybe if you're using Zoom or what Google Hangouts, you can meet there. And so that we can still have that nice coworker interaction where we're, you know, sharing stories about our life, we're checking in on each other to see how we're doing, giving tips to each other, and just still keeping up with those nice interpersonal relationships. And I think that that's part of what makes a job rewarding is having that nice work culture of those interpersonal relationships. And so thinking about even though you're not seeing them, you know, before the day starts or your usual lunch crew, how can you build that into your week sometime so that you can still keep up your communications and have that positive reinforcement as well as, of course, you know, a place to vent or like a place where you need to just like walk through some things. And so I think it's really important to keep that up and don't let that slide past you in the, you know, chaotic day that we, we all experience with clients. Yeah, absolutely. I was just on watching a news story this morning that was talking about just this skyrocketing, you know, mental health issues with our children and students because they haven't been able to be around their classmates and their friends. And we as adults are no different and we need those social interactions. We are social animals. And I know sometimes that even at the end of the day, I can't do any more screen. You know, I used to have at the beginning of all this, you know, we had a lot of happy hours and meetups with friends on Zoom. And we all got to the point where we're like, I can't look at the screen anymore. And so we do these fun uh, Marco Polo apps or just phone calls. I found even just sitting and putting on my earbuds and making a phone call so we can just hear mm -hmm. each other's voices because we all felt like, I can't. I, I don't want to look at the screen anymore, but it's so important. And sometimes it's, you know, even when I feel really tired and I think, oh, I don't want to, I, you know, I just feel like I've talked all day. I don't want to talk some more. I always feel better after meeting with a friend, going for a walk with somebody, you know, I don't know what's happening in, in your areas, but there's a lot of outdoor dining options here in Colorado. So meeting up with friends for lunch, or we have a lot of breweries. And that has been just huge. Just in, and again, if those aren't options and you don't feel comfortable going out and socializing with people, phone call. Just even yeah. hearing those comforting voices, talking, laughing, it is huge. And, and if you think, oh, I don't need to do that. That's not me. Do it anyway. This is my 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 bully. <laughs> this is so because bossy. <laughs> because you have to, and sometimes it's one of those areas where you don't know how much you need it until it's gone too far. And so it's you know prevent, don't treat, and that to me is preventative. Is making sure you maintain those relationships and have those connections with people. Yes. Something that I've done, I'm a very conservative COVID person. So I've barely been seeing anyone in the way that has been really helpful for me when I'm just like screen timed out is I'll actually make a walking date with a friend on the phone. So we'll both agree we're going to go on a walk at that time. So we're both getting the benefits of fresh air. And also, I think I always have better conversations when I'm walking, but we're talking on the phone instead of meeting in person, or maybe they're a friend who lives, you know, in a different location than me. And that's been really fun because like, I used to always be like, oh yeah, let's meet up and go on a walk. But nowadays I'm not really doing that, but I'm still getting that feeling of socializing, moving my 
my body going on a walk and being able to catch up with someone. And so that has also been a lifesaver for me. If, if you're anything like me and have just basically only seen people you've lived with since COVID, then that's a, a killer tip I could suggest. <laughs> mm-hmm. 